Yes, sir. We back, baby. Welcome to week two of the Golden Fictional League. I'm your host. I'm your commentator. I'm the commissioner. It's your boy Dollar, baby. It's your boy Rush Dollar. And we already getting right to it early with the Jeremy Goodson slam to start off the game. And now Dante Mack finding Carmelo Cruz on the wing, knocking it down. We got a good matchup between two really good passing guards. And as I say that, Jeremy Goodson gets another lob. Two of the best passing guards in the league. Dante Mack going up against Jay Anthony. And as well, on the wing, Jeremy Goodson and Joe Banks. Two players from the Golden Fictional draft class number one. And as you can see, Joe Banks with the nasty in and out. Euro stepping and now I'm barely even looking at it. Oh, my God. Getting a mobile one drive to go. Now Jeremy Goodson gets the ball again. And that's his third dunk. Within the first five or six minutes in the game. And Joe Banks taking it to the basket as he does. A slashing point forward type of guy. And now Jeremy from downtown. And he cashes out. Knocks it down. 22 to 14 lead. The Express is up. And it's a scramble right here. Ball in the hands of Jeremy Goodson. On the fast break. Finds Dante Carter from downtown. Another player to go to fictional draft class. Number one. Represented in this game right here. And that's a dime to Sky Anderson. Getting the and one to go. Jay Anthony already had five assists in the game. There's a walking double-double. And speaking about walking. A walking bucket. A living legend. Jeremy Goodson could get it from all three levels. And now this time, Jamal Menson knocking down the three. 33-19. Ball in the hands of Dante Mack. Shot clock widening down. Step back. Knock down at the buzzer. Down 11 going into the second quarter. Joe Banks, this is not his game, but he knocks it down from downtown. If he can get that going off the dribble, he's definitely scary. But now we got Neil Lovett. Was kind of quiet, sizing his opponent up, and tell him to hold that for me. Now he gets that action, action out of the pick and roll, trying to get to the basket. Spin move right into the chest of the defender, going up again to and one to go. Tough. Tough. Now this time, Trayvon Moore. Going between the legs, stepping back. Oh, my God. You see the footwork, the pump fake, the beauty. Timeout call by the St. Louis squad. Actually, by the other team. Excuse me. And now Carmelo Cruz gets the layup to go. Another timeout call. Cross over. Joe Banks finding his man. Carmelo in the corner. Getting it to go. Knocking it down. Double-digit lead. St. Louis is down and lobs it up to the freak athlete stretch. It ain't hard to find out why they call him Stretch. I don't know his real name, to be honest. But he got some stupid bounce and dumb long. And this time, Kevin Blazik comes off his screen and knocks it down from downtown. And Jay Anthony said, oh, give me that. You don't really want that ball right here. Going hop step, taking it right to, to Joe Banks, getting a layup to go. 15-point game. Kansas City is up still. And now, nice little move, finding a cut in Carmelo Cruz. He just knows how to play, knows where to be, knows how to find the open spots. Jeremy Goodson this time, going crossover, step back. His handle, he got that drawn on a rope, and he throws it down over two defenders, even including a 7-2 Landon Roy. That could have been an and one. What is the, nah, the rest is bugging. The rest is, how is that not an and one? The rest is bugging for that. Like, What? Now Jamal Mensa, I got to change his name because it's like three Mensas, but he's stepping back from downtown, and he gets it to go. Second three of the game for him. Now Jeremy Goodson gets right to his spot at the elbow. Midi magician on Hall of Fame. He got it. He got it. Now this time, sizing the opponent up, goes right past Landon Roy and dunks it home. He can't hold him. There's nobody in the building that could hold this man. Average 20-plus in his one year at Texas. Jeremy Goodson is a flat-out superstar, scoring machine, and Neil Lovett pulls up from downtown. 15-point game, Dante Carter this time. Again, the Euro steps to go. Kansas City is in control of this game. And now Blazic trying to create some offense for himself. That's great defense, but he gets the hook shot to go, the running hook. You're not blocking that, especially at 6'10". Now Jay Anthony with the dime to the other side of the corner. That is, ooh. That passing chops that Jay has. And now he finds another guy in the corner. And that's Milan Markovic from downtown. He got the strap. He got the burner. He got the ratchet. Whatever you want to call it. And now this time, Dante Mack from downtown. And he answers right back. Get back on defense, Jay Ant. 
Now Devin Clark finds Jay Anthony in the corner for three, and he gets it back. 19 and 10 in the game for him. Only got one boy. You're 6'8". I know you could get some more rebounds than that. And now Jamal Mensah for the third three of the game. You'll think he's a sniper. That's not his game, but you know what time it is. Team is not even competitive, and the Express are going to go to victory. Once we want to speed up the simulation. I don't know what the hell it's taking so long with me. But Jeremy Goodson and Jay Anthony, they play at a fast tempo. Oh, comeback by the Spirits. Jeremy Goodson with 30, 21 and 14 for Jay Ant, 28 for Dante Carter. They play at a fast pace, and they want to get out and run. They want to play, probably get like 100 or 5 possessions a game. And it's going to be tough, tough to beat and transition there out of there. When you're playing against them, you got to learn how to either control the tempo or learn how to get back on defense and play because you go get tired the way they run. But let's move on to the next game. Moving on to the primetime matchup of the week. We got the San Diego Sturge taking on the Fresno Fury. San Diego led by Turn Up Smitty, Larry Smith. And then on the other side, the Fresno Fury looking to get their first win. Start off the season 0-3. But they got their guy. They got their superstar. A-plus home court advantage. Dwayne Cooper. And in the backcourt, Brian Williams, one of the best defenders at the guard spot. Let's see how he's going to defend Larry Smith on the first possession. Larry takes it to the basket and goes baseline. It ain't go well from the first one. It might be a long night, but let's strap in. And now Latrell Cross with a good pass from Milo Nicholas getting the dunk to go. And I'm loving it to start off. Great Hezzy finds a wide open Breen in the corner. Pump fake pulls up with the lefty. I'm not going to lie. I low-key made hella lefties in this because I'm a lefty. Like, I kind of realized, like, there's definitely, like, way more lefties than there is in the league with this. But I was just rambling. I don't know who just scored, but Dwayne Cooper this time with the mobile one drive, getting to the basket. Okay, going right into big man Chima. Now J.J. King trying to take his man off the dribble and takes it right to the basket. 20 to 20, 27 up now. Brian with the basket, with the shot clock, game clock winding down, and he gets the layup to go, and it ends up counting. And now this time, Jalon Morgan. Trying to go at the big dog, Chima Kanate, but he denies that one. Milo Nikolic with the ball. Step back, knocks it down. Tough one. Not too much space that he created, but enough to get it. And now Chima on the boards and throwing it down right on the top of J.J. King. Dang you. Oh, my. Nah, he is a menace. Absolute force. Using his brute force, throwing it down. And now this time, Dalen rolls the point forward. Taking up court, getting a layup to go. 45-40. This time, Larry Smith gets back in action. Gets the mid-range pull-up. The flame the game's been missing. That nickname is so hard. And this time, Milo Nikolic, straight from Serbia, knocks down the three. And now, Dwayne Cooper stepping back. But great defense by Chima Kanate. Getting the block to go. And Eddie Mosley. Introducing himself into this game. He's been quiet, but gets the hop step. Oh, my God. Excuse me. I got an appointment with the rim, and he throws it down with a nice little hammer slam. And now Dwayne Cooper splits the pick and roll and throws down the right-handed Tomahawk. That's terrible pick and roll defense right there. And now Larry Smith attacks the basket, finds a wide open Eddie Mosley, and he drains it from the corner. 12 in a game for Eddie. And now Larry with the mismatch with Milan marking on him. He can't hold him at all. Not Milan marking him. Michael Milano. But this time, Chima, 12-10 and 10 already in the game. Slamming it home on two defenders. I love it. I love it. Need more of that. Now Dwayne Cooper is bringing the ball up. 
looking to probably get his bucket back. I'm not going to lie. Goes pick and roll. Latrell Cross finds Latrell Cross, and he gets the bucket right back. 58-51. We're in the second half of action. Latrell Cross, you lob it up to him, and he's going to dunk it. One of the best lob threats that we got in the game. And Brian Williams coming off the double screen, draining it at the top of the key. And now it's stolen away. Cookies. You don't see Larry Smith get cookied a lot. Actually, that wasn't Larry Smith. That was Julian Love that got pickpocketed. But Brian Williams is an absolute defensive monster. And Milo Nikolic takes the lead for the Fury. And now Eddie Mosley pump fakes. Pass it to Chima. Has a runway. And nobody wants to get in the way with that. And off the inbound play, Larry gets the screen. Gets a wide open shot from downtown. Chicken. 17 in the game for Larry Smith. Now they pass it to Milo. And he hits the defender with a little tap tap between Twain and gets the floater to go. Oh my God. You got it like that? Now Eddie with a nice jab step, spin move, and throws it down with another explosive slam. He don't look like he got bounced like that, a little wicked. But his he got that sneaky type of bounce. Can get up quick. Nice and explosive. And now Brian Williams has a ball, finds another Ma Milo three. Give it to me. Now Larry Smith going baseline, and he goes reverse right over the top of the trail cross and hangs on the rim for a little good measure. And now pass to Chima Kanate like a hot potato with the shot clock winding down, and he gets the mid-range to go. And, oh, oh, that ain't your game, brother. That ain't your game, brother. Latrell Cross with a great recovery block right there. Got into his chest a little bit, but still recovered. And Chima again, another and one slam. Now Dwayne Cooper steps back, pump fakes right at the foul line. Nobody really gets out of contest, and he gets the easy bucket. 18 in the game for him. And Julian Love has been quiet all game, but knocks down that three. It's a nine-point game for the, for the Fury, for the surf, and to the basket. Michael Milano. He could do a little bit off the bounce. I know his haircut looked crazy, but he could. Oh, my God. Post work. Go to work, big fella. Go to work, Chima. Top step to the basket. Dwayne Cooper gets another bucket. 20 points, 8 assists in a game for him. Needs to still stay in attack mode. And Jalon Morgan, sweet block. That jump gets punched by Bernard Sears. And now Dwayne Cooper again getting another dunk to go. He's starting to heat up a little bit in this fourth quarter. They're still down by 10. Blows past the defender and gets another tomahawk slam. They call a timeout. It's an 8-point game. Eddie Mosley slashing to the basket. Great ball moving. Finds Julian Love in the corner. And he knew it was cash once it left his hands. And now Dalen Rose finding a wide open Larry Smith in that corner this time. And they go back up 10. They can't get the stops. Fresno needs to get stops. Dwayne Cooper to the basket. And one. And he talking. Woo, he talking. What you talking? I love it. I love it. I love the back and forth action. Rebound Chima, and he throws it down. Flexing all over his opponents this game. Absolute been a monster. Paint beast, and again, another and one by Dwayne Cooper, and he is not going away easy. And now he takes it to the basket and gets another dunk, single-handedly bringing his team back into the game while just attacking the basket relentlessly. 36 points for him. Gets to the basket again. Makes it a six-point game with less than two minutes to go. But can they get the stops they need? Larry Smith finds Chima Kanate from downtown. And, yes, he could shoot it a little. And he has been celebrating after every single bucket. I know it has to be annoying. Wide open for three. Latrell Cross. So the big man trade threes. It's a six-point game still. Julian Love pulls up in the mid-range and dials it. He buries it. Big time shot as Basie looks like it could be the dagger. But Dwayne Cooper takes it the length of the floor, and that's 40 for him. Missed shot right there. Stolen away. Brian Williams cookies. This time he does pickpocket Larry Smith. Pulls up from downtown, and he buries the three. They're not going home yet, but played a free throw game in the San Diego, San Diego surf. End up winning that one. So a California battle goes to San Diego. 
Larry Smith, Chima Kanate. Great battle here in Fresno. And Chima, nah, he was really talking hella smack after every single bucket, flexing on them, violating. There's really nothing that they could do, though. Let's look at this again. 40 points, 9, nine assists for Dwayne Cooper, 23-13 and 13 for Latrell Cross. Breen has 17 points and also gave you four steals. Felt, felt like Milo Nikolic had a lot more points. But 26 points in the fourth quarter. Chima had 11-7 and seven in the fourth quarter and also buried at three. And that's what really killed it for him, even though they responded back. But tough one, tough one. But before we get into the last video, we got to take a look at the game winner from the other night. Iowa Energy down by one. Probably looking to find their guy, Ricky Cruz, with his last shot. But they find it to the post. Darius Wisely, one dribble, turn around, game. Darius Wisely calls game. Big time shot, big time performance. 40 points for Darius Wisely and caps it off with the game winner at the buzzer right over the top of J.J. King to beat the Fresno Fury. Big time shots, big time play. Jersey Glory taking on Reggie Mack and them boys. We got a big time game. Ricky Cruz, Darius Wiley, as y'all seen before, nailing that game on his shot early on in the week. And they had Uncle Mo. Uncle Mo met him on their side, looking to win their fourth straight game. And they're at home taking on the glory. And nobody this time stopping, getting in the way of Rakeem Jenkins on this slam at all. Big man is a mishmash nightmare. Now TJ Russell has a ball in his hands. He finds Reggie Mack, and he goes reverse. Now in transition, Darius Wisely, who is an absolute force, goes spin move and lays it home at 6'8", six, 6'9", six, six, around 245. Absolute monster. And this time, he lays Reggie Mack on this finish. Four early points for him. He's not even really a crazy scorer like that. He's just a do-it-all guy. But a crazy scorer. As crazy as the score that we've seen, Reggie Mack knocks it home. And now TJ Russell introducing himself to the golden world, knocking down that three. And now Ricky Cruz looking to take his man off the bounce and finds a wide open Jordan Tate this time for three to tie up the game at 11 apiece. Reggie Mack this time has a smaller Ricky Cruz, gets right to his spots and just rises over him like he's not even there. And now Ricky Cruz has a mismatch on him, goes behind the back and stops with a nice little floater and gets it to go. And now DeLon Young comes off the bench and hits an early corner three in the game. And now Jakari Hill gets the defender off the feet with the pump fake, drives to the basket, gets hacked, but it doesn't stop him at all and gets the and one to go. Reggie Mack gets the handoff, a screen to the basket, and he throws down a left-handed slant. Now we in the second quarter of action. DeLon Young again gets the pass, and he just lets it fly. He's one of those guys you can't give him any type of airspace. And him too. Eli Flowers pulls up for three, and it's a seven-point game. 
TJ Russell has the ball, finds a wide open Ramon Velasquez, and he knocks it down for three. Now gets a double drag screen, pump fakes, finds a wide open Eric Tyler with the quick trigger. He is a Tyler brother, so you know his jaw is strapped. Locked and loaded at all times. Fully loaded clip and a great pass to Darius Wisely. Gets off the ground fast and explosive. And a hop step, pump fake, draws two defenders, and Eric Tyler is wide open in the corner for three. And you know the results of that. And Najee Morris lobs it up to Trenton Green, and he slams it home with the right-handed slam. Looks like they're starting to build a little bit of early chemistry. Raheem Jenkins finds a wide open Darius Wisely, and there's been a lot of wide open threes given up in this game. That's not in his game like that either. He just might be going on an incredible run and pull up this time from Najee out of the pick and roll. Defender has a hedge up on that a little bit more, especially with the shooter like him. And now TJ Russell pulls up right over the top of Ricky Cruz, and he just might be a, just a walking cone out there. A walking cone because nobody don't miss see him on the shots that he's taking. And an outlet pass, hop step, switching hands, finishing with the inside hand, Reggie Mack. One of the best finishes we've seen in a game. And now Skip Fletcher has the ball, passes out to, you already know, <laughs> DeLon Young just counted another three, probably his third or fourth three in the game so far. And now Reggie Mack takes the defender off the dribble and finds TJ Russell. The deadly part about this glory team is the way Reggie Mack can get to the basket against anybody whenever he wants. And then on the in the corners and the wings, you have guys, guys like Eric Tyler and TJ Russell. And a great putback slam right there by Trenton Green, trying to play the passing lanes they are this time, scrambling, and they lead the wrong guy open again. DeLon Young sinks another one. The Gloria up in this game, behind the back, step back by Reggie Mack. 20 points in the game for him. And now he hop steps right over the defender and gets the right-handed layup to go, just making it look too easy for them. They're up by double digits. Ricky Cruz this time misses the shot, but rebounded and dunked home by Raheem Jenkins. Getting the AT&T 5G slam cam. TJ Russell this time out of the pick and roll. Finds Trenton Green popping on the three this time, and he nails it. Now Ricky Cruz, defender doesn't hedge up at all, and he makes him pay this time. Not having the best shooting game, but this time Ricky Cruz pulls up again, and he might be starting to heat up now. Nine points in the quarter, 20 in the game, takes it to the basket. Defender is too slow, and he lays it in. Timeout call, can Ricky Cruz try to bring them back? This time, Carlo Pavic pulls up from three, coming off the bench for Ricky Cruz, trying to give him some minutes. And this time, again, he knocks down another three, cuts it back to single digits. And now DeAndre Pack going in and out behind the back, getting past the defender. Got some wiggle to him. DeAndre Pack got the Gumby with it, too. Reggie Mack, shot clock, game clock winding down. They need to send two at him. Gets the basket with the inside scoop, and he lays it in before the game clock. Now we're in the fourth quarter. It looks like some of the crowd is left, but Darius Wiley, Wiley effectively going at his mismatch right there and now Yaroslav with a miss and a cleanup on aisle nine putting that back with the slam Ricky Cruz has a mismatch Yaroslav he can't stay in front of him at all and he dunks it home looks like Reggie Mack you might have just seen your Kodak moment click click whatever Reggie Miller be doing click click welcome to your Kodak moment had ass now Yaroslav gets the layup to go this time step back Ricky Cruz you see that separation though Ew. Separation is ill. Reggie Mack, he don't need too much separation at all, though. That's the crazy part. 22 in the second half for him. Now they pass it to Raheem Jenkins. It kind of feels like they weren't getting him the ball enough in the fourth quarter in the second half, really. And now Darius Wiley trying to take it to the basket. Passes it out. A wide open Eli Flowers. And oh, 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 oh. Don't go nowhere. It's a six-point game. They're still playing. The Iowa energy still got some energy in them. Darius Wiley has a mismatch on him, trying to take advantage of TJ Russell, trying to bully him. And, oh, my God, that is a tough shot by him. The lefty, 15-10 and 10 in the game for him. Four-point game. Ricky Cruz passes Darius Wiley, and that's a wicked, wild spin move. You don't want to get in the way with that. Absolute tank, and he f finishes with some finesse with the finger roll, two-point game. But Reggie Mack. 
slithers his way to the basket and gets the finger roll to go. Just playing so controlled, and this time gets right past the Darius Wiley and gets a dunk to go. 40 in a game for him. He just can't be stopped at all. But now Ricky Cruz, who's having himself a big second half, gets to the basket and gets the layup to go. Tough finish by him. Still a one-possession game. The crowd is into it. I feel bad for some people that left the crowd because this is a nail-biter. Reggie Mack has the ball, one of the best closers in the game. Can he do it? And he throws it down right over the seven-footer. Rakeem Jenkins could barely even jump on that one. Reggie Mack got off the ground so quick on that one. It's a four-point game. Ricky Cruz, can he do some more magic? Gets past TJ Russell, and this time he gets blocked. He definitely traveled. He definitely traveled on that, but it doesn't matter. Monte, Montez Hendricks gets the big block. And now trying to come off the screen right here. Pump fake by Eli Flowers. Trying to attack the basket. Passes Darius Wiley. And they're looking for a three. Ricky Cruz for three. And he knocks it home. It's a one-point game. This team is not going away. TJ Russell goes to the line and knocks down both of his free throws. Now with the shot clock winding down. 44 in a game for Ricky Cruz. Can they send it to overtime? Step back right over the defender. But he misses it. Rebounded by Reggie Mack. And that looks like that's going to do it. But no, no, no. Eli Flowers hits the three. Down by two. Reggie Mack at the free throw line. He makes the first. And he makes the second to seal the deal. And that will do it. The New Jersey Glory get their first win in a column. It could be potentially first of many. But we've seen a great duel between Reggie Mack and Ricky Cruz. Great game, great main event. Feel me? You made it this far. You the real MVP. You the real GOAT. Reggie Mack, the player of the game. I always be forgetting to say this, but hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Cause I know most people that watch these videos are not su subscribed. But if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. Like you feel me? You you had to like it. You had to like it a little bit. I know my voice could be a little annoying, but feel me, we here. We here with it. Reggie Mack was going off. Ricky Cruz, 44 in a game. Uh, Darius Wiley gave you 17 and 10. It's 18 in the fourth quarter by Ricky Cruz. He was wilding. But Reggie Mack matched it with 20. Matched it with 20. It's your boy, Reg Dollar. We'll see y'all in week three. And as always, stay safe, be goaded, and I'm out of here.